Spectre intakes. Do they work or are they trash? Okay, so right off the bat, one of the first things I noticed with uh, getting this in the mail was uh, the quality. When I first opened this, I was anticipating, you know, cheap, you know, cheap aluminum, really, really flimsy uh, intake pieces and just cheap rubber that was just going to really tear as soon as I put it on. Uh, but for the most part, I was pretty impressed. Um, these rubber pieces, definitely want these to be very uh, durable, have a lot of dexterity because uh, it's going to get hot under the hood. And you're going to want to have real durable pieces so you're not running any vacuum leaks and they don't dry and crack up. The next thing was the filter. Uh, the filter looks pretty good and looks pretty detailed for the most part. Um, I do not believe these are reusable. So I believe every, what is it, 25,000 miles they say replace these. Um, you know, I'm sure you can probably get a replacement for these. Now, the next thing was the MF sensor. The, one of the problems I had when putting this on was uh, the wiring harness because uh, just because this one comes by the one that has the temperature sensor or you have that on your truck for that matter uh, it does have an MAF sensor or not MAF sensor a temperature sensor grommet the little rubber piece you can slide it in uh, it's gonna want to push the rubber piece inside so you just got to do it slowly when you're... for the most part you know it's pretty nice um, one of the things I would like to do is um, so if you've ever seen on the original airbox, there's this little hole right down in here. That little hole right there. The factory airbox had kind of like a scoop that runs through there. Let me show you right here. It has a little scoop that when you uh, have the filter in there, that runs right through the hole. Air gets behind the headlight, goes through the airbox, and then that's it. Now, they say you don't want to really necessarily take the uh, factory airbox out just because it kind of takes down the efficiency of it. I disagree with that, mainly because the technology, this is a 2002, the technology of 2002 is far outdated as compared to, you know, 2018, 2019. Um, but for the most part, uh, because it's cold outside, the weather's, you know, cold, um, definitely we'll probably be getting colder air, but, um, you know, those summer seasons, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little more rough on the truck. But which is why I want to fabricate some. Uh, you know, you can buy the ones where they have, but if you depend on how big your pocket is, I just want something cheap that would just fit on there and just work. Um, Got to fabricate some sheet metal right behind here just to run it over the fuse box. Uh, I might delete the washer just to run it so that way uh, it's kind of isolating the, the hot air from the engine. The word of the wise inside of these MAF sensors, you take this rubber piece off right here, there's a little web screen. And if you peel that out and you start driving around with that, you can get more power out of it, sure, but uh, it takes one little thing to hit that sensor and then bang, your truck's gonna run like trash, so. Yeah, I'm basically out of gas anyways. Classic Chevy alternator one. can kind of hear it, but not, not as much as uh, like an AM intake or something like that. It's a little project truck, but it just needs some work. But I think for the most part, you definitely get the suction noise if you hit the throttle. Yeah, you kind of get it. I wasn't impressed with that though, but um, I have yet to get it on the road and to see what kind of uh, gas miles you can actually get with these. They say you can get better gas mileage, but we got yet to find out. So, it's got 179,000, so we're about to hit 180K in it. Um, you know, it's a little, 
little small truck, but it's gonna be a project for the most part. So, that's pretty much it with these intakes. Um, you know, there's different ones. If you're gonna spend a lot of money, if you're planning on buying a high dollar one, you can get the AEM Brute Force, which is, it comes with this piece. It runs down, uh, and it does have a heat shield, which will fit. Um, but considering the heat shield would have to be pretty small because you got the lower radiator, sorry, the upper radiator hose, and then you got the washer in the way, combined with the fuse box, but that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you guys next time.